Warren Buffett recently opened a new position in his portfolio, Sirius XM, Siri. But if you look at his portfolio in details, you will see that there's a stock that he has been owning for years called Liberty Sirius XM. Actually, he owns two classes of this company, Class A and Class C. So what does this mean? Why is he buying Siri? And what actually is Liberty Sirius XM compared to Sirius XM? What's the difference? And why am I buying Liberty Sirius XM? This is what we are going to discuss today. And another interesting thing is that Seth Klarman, another great value investor, one of his largest position, he's actually one of the largest shareholder of the company is Liberty Sirius XM. And you look at his portfolio, it's around 11% of his portfolio. He's one of the largest shareholder of Liberty Sirius XM. It's not such a big company. And even Warren Buffett, through his position, He's one of the largest shareholders. Two of the greatest value investors alive today are the largest shareholders of Liberty Series XM. So we need to know why they are buying this stock and why am I buying this stock? Actually, one more important investor we need to talk about today who is really the person controlling the company is John C. Malone, who is the second largest land owner in the United States. Today, we are not going to talk about his land ownership. We are going to talk about his investments. And he has the Liberty Empire. So why do I call it the Liberty Empire? Because he owns so many different companies, but unlike Warren Buffett, where everything is owned under Berkshire Hathaway, you can call Berkshire Hathaway an empire. It is an empire. But John C. Malone, for him, it's different. He has ownership in different companies. And you will see that all of them has in some way that Liberty name. He's a Libertarian. That's something very important. For the purpose of the video, we will talk about this in a few minutes. Why do I call it the Liberty Empire? He owns Liberty Global. He owns Liberty Media. He, he owns Liberty Latin America. He is one of the largest shareholders of Warner Bros. Discovery. So many different companies, even Liberty Trip Advisor. But the one that interests us today is Liberty, is Liberty Media. And unlike Berkshire Hathaway, where you have to buy the whole company, you buy stocks of Berkshire Hathaway, for Liberty Media, you can buy tracking stocks. So instead of buying shares of, let's say if it was the case of Berkshire Hathaway, instead of buying shares of uh, the whole Berkshire Hathaway company, you could buy the ownership in Apple. You could buy the ownership in BNSF. These are called tracking stocks, and this is what John C. Malone, through Liberty Media, allow us to do. So the ownership of Liberty Media, which will interest us today, is mainly three companies, Atlanta Braves, Formula One, and Sirius XM. They own 82% of Sirius XM. So if you want ownership of Sirius XM, there are two different ways to get it. Actually, more than two, but to simplify, let's say just two ways. You buy the publicly traded company that is Siri, like Warren Buffett recently did, or you buy it through Liberty Media. That is the Liberty Series XM shares. But here also, there are two classes of shares publicly traded. Class B is mostly owned by insiders and it's hard to trade. But you can trade Class A and you can trade Class C. So which one is the best? By Siri, Class A of Liberty Series XM or Class C? Actually, if you're going to own the same company, whatever shares you buy, what's important is buying which share gets you a better price. This is the question you have to own. So what actually is Sirius XM? It's not such a complicated business, that's why I like it. It is satellite radio. The business seems very simple, satellite radio. So you have satellite radio, what's so great about it? Why everyone is interested in the business? It's because they have these with the car manufacturers. So if you buy a new car in the United States, most probably the default satellite radio would be from Sirius XM. So of course, these car companies, they have to pay for this. This is how they make money. And they make money also through the subscription. Many people are going to subscribe to it after they have listened one time. They are going to subscribe and keep using the satellite radio, keep listening. It's a good business generating lots of cash flows, even though it is not growing that much. It's not really a business that is going to grow at 10% a year, said like that. But it is a stable business. The main issue with the business, I will say, is its negative book value because the liabilities are so much. And this is what's important to talk about John C. Malone's libertarian views. 
Actually, I did not think about it this way, but someone commented, I think it's on Twitter, instead of paying taxes, he prefers to pay interest. So maybe that's why most of the companies he owns have so much debt. Instead of paying taxes, he, pay, he prefers paying interest. Because if you pay interest, it's going to lower eventually how much taxes you're paying, but this is an expense. B, I don't know, if this is what he had in mind, why all the companies he owns have so much debt. The same thing for Liberty Series XM. Negative book value, probably you will say that this is not a good stock, but the fact that they are generating so much cash flow, they can repay the debt. And you look at a worst case scenario, 2020, 2021, even then, the company was doing well. So it is undervalued. That's why probably Warren Buffett invested in Sirius XM in Siri. Now we need to know whether investing in Sirius XM Siri directly makes more sense or we need to invest it through Liberty Sirius XM. Actually, there's something else happening now. Liberty Sirius XM, they used to own more than just Sirius XM. They had cross ownership in Formula One. They also own Live Nation, but they have a spin up for it. The shares have been given. You look at the portfolio of Seth Gorman or Warren Buffett, you will see shares of Live Nation there. So they have the spin off. Now the company is simplifying itself and it is merging with Sirius XM, that is Siri. So if you own the 18%, the publicly traded shares, it is going to merge. And one of the reasons why I believe Warren Buffett has invested in Siri, he sees it as a sort of arbitrage. He already owns the shares of Sirius XM. Now he can buy more shares through Siri. And probably this also helps him navigate regulations. If he was buying the same shares that he already owns, he has to file after a couple of days that he's buying these shares because he owns a big portion of the company. But if he buys Siri, which he doesn't own at all, he can file later. Nobody will know that he's buying. So I, maybe another reason why he's buying. But why do I choose Liberty Sirius XM instead of Sirius XM? It's because of the price at which it is. You look at Liberty Sirius XM, there is, let's call it the pay right company. There's additional cash and additional debt on the balance sheet of the pay right company. So just because it is the same company doesn't mean it has the same balance sheet. The cash, the cash flows that the companies are generating are the same because it's the same company, but the balance sheet on the same. The pay right company has additional debt. I already told you that Sirius XM has a lot of debt. So why am I buying another company with more debt, the pay right company? It's because of the price. It is trading at such a good price today that I'm willing to take that risk of the additional debt and invest in the company. It is a long-term investment. Warren Buffett has owned this for years, even Seth Wellman. They are trading at a good valuation today. I'm not investing for the merger or anything. There's the possibility of a short squeeze. Some people are talking about if you buy Siri. I don't know about this. I'm not interested. I'm interested for the long-term business prospect. This is one of the free stocks I'm buying this month. If you want the full video about the stocks I'm buying, I would recommend you watch it. Have a nice day and goodbye.